Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzu7 here again, and welcome to another RuneScape 3 vlog here today. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this week's patch notes and uh, the things that have been updated in the game. I'm probably going to try and keep this one a bit short because I have a pretty sore throat right now. I'm kind of coming down with a little bit of a cold, uh, so I don't want to talk too much because, you know, my throat kind of hurts. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just realized, why is this off? All of a sudden, my chat box was just slightly misaligned with a little black gap, so that was weird. But um, yeah, pretty much there was no real update today. I mean, I'm sure nobody really accept, expected an update. Um, by the way, I'm just going to be doing a herb run on my hardcore and stuff in this video. I just wanted to get one of those in at my lunchtime. But um, yeah, there's no real content update this week. However, uh, a new event did start their mental health awareness week I think they did this at least last year. I'm not sure if they've done it more than that in the past, but It's another token event and the rewards for this one are pretty sparse. There's just two Cosmetic rewards, but at the same time you only need 10,000 tokens as opposed to the usual 15,000 um, and it has been a decent amount of time since the last token event so I'm not too upset about them having another one and it's for charity as well so you know not really a MTX rageable one so yeah I mean there's nothing special about these we've seen them many many times in the past but there is another token event so you'll start getting those things in your currency pouch the charity tokens that you can turn in for the event um, so there's that and they are some people at Lumbridge Crater that you can talk to. I think they have, um, it says in, on the update post that you can go talk to them and each day they'll have a mental health related question for you and if you answer correctly, you'll win a prize. Uh, so I'm not sure what that is. I'll, I'll probably try and swing by there after my herb run and see what that prize actually is. Um, if it's available on Iron Man, I don't know. Oh man, my throat is fucked, but um, they also gave a recap of RuneFest in the notes here, and if you missed it, um, I did upload three videos on RuneFest, one for the lore and the myths sections, and then one for the keynote, where I went over all the stuff that was revealed, and one for the survey results section. So if you'd like to check those out, they are on my channel. I also uploaded a Hard Crime Man Progress episode yesterday, so you can check that out as well. And um, I actually almost died on my hardcore yesterday because uh, for some fucking reason when I'm playing the game if I disconnect or plug in any of my USBs in the back of my computer the game just hard crashes and gives some error about like an unhandled exception and for a year or like not years maybe it has been years but for a while now my stupid fucking razor keyboard will just on occasion decide that it's unplugged from my computer and then It'll just like, you know, make the noise that you've unplugged something, the keyboard will not work for a second or two, and then it'll turn back on and make the noise like you plugged it back in. So I was at Zami God Wars on my hardcore, and, um, oh, that's my, damn, okay, I'll have to change that later. But um, I was at Zami God Wars on my hardcore, and I had that happen. My keyboard came unplugged, or it, did, it doesn't even come unplugged. It just decides to turn off and then reconnects itself without me touching anything. And um, then the, the game just instantly hard crashed. Thankfully, I had already killed the boss and I was on the minions and I did get logged out. I didn't even proc my sign. Um, but I could have easily fucking died because for some reason, like it makes no sense why the game would have any effect on, you know, me unplugging or plugging in my USBs or not. So I have no idea what's going on, but... At that, it was the final straw for my stupid keyboard. I'm never buying a Razer keyboard again. It's a pile of trash, and I tried to get their support to do anything with it, and they just won't. Uh, so I ordered a new keyboard. It comes in later today, and it's uh, a Corsair, so I'm going to be using that, and hopefully it won't have any issues. But they really need to fix that because I have no idea what the hell happens and why it happens. But for some reason, Whenever I disconnect a, or plug in a USB, the game will hard crash. And um, I've also just had a random hard crash while standing at Prif at the bank doing, you know, some skilling. It was um, something to do with uh, mal malfunction. I think it said something about, like, malicious users could gain access, so we've closed the program. I don't know. They've got some really big issues with the client right now and random hard crashes, and they really need to sort that shit out because... 
you know, I, I'm, I'm not doing any PVM, especially at least not until my computer comes in, but I'm a little, you know, suspicious of doing anything on this account in terms of PVM, you know, until they even, um, get some shit sorted out with, with the crashes, like overall, I'm not sure. I haven't really had that mal, mal malicious crash or whatever more than once, but it still has got me worried. Um, but yeah, before I get into the patch notes, I need to go uh, put in something on the stove, so I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Just kind of trying to get my lunch uh, cooked because it's making something that takes a bit longer today. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to the video. I'm going to be talking about the patch notes now. And there were actually a couple little gems of patch notes in here that you might not have noticed because they didn't actually put probably one of the best ones on the update page itself. Uh, and basically, the ones that they did list were um, they removed, they finally fixed the buff bar in terms of the uh, stupid little icons that were showing up when you were using curses. Um, I, like the extra ones outside of the curse itself, you guys will see I'll use turmoil. And the only thing that shows up in my buff bar is the turmoil curse. So I, I just have no idea how that even got added in the first place, but they've removed it. However, there is an issue now with the buff bar that has some people annoyed because at some points the fonts of the numbers that are on your icons are inconsistent and aren't the same font for different uh, icons. These two are, are the same right now, but there's like a, a font that basically looks kind of like these two, but it's not as uh, bolded. So that is um, annoying some people. Hopefully they fix that soon. but. Overall, I like this font better, the big bold font that's easier to see than the other one. So hopefully they make this one the norm for all of the um, buff icons. But that was a really good herb run. We got 80 lantodimes. That is really nice. Pretty sweet little run there. Um, and also I'm doing marigolds for honeycomb, if you were wondering. But um, yeah, that's that. Uh, glad they fixed the buff bar there and they also updated it so that the full minutes are displayed for like things that go over an hour um, I believe is what that for that's for for some reason they didn't actually link the patch notes on the update post So you have to go to the forums to search for it, but I'll pull those up now um, And for some reason though, they're not the first one at the top when I search, but yeah um, There were a couple in here that I did want to make sure I mention um, the father and son as well as the Helping Lanny Ikea mini quests have both been uh, converted, or well, either way, they've been added to the comp cape. So you have to do those mini quests in order to get your comp cape back if you haven't done them already. Um, so make sure you do that. And um, I have a guide on Helping Lanny Ikea if you'd like to use that. Uh, other than that, um, the only other thing I think was that one that I definitely wanted to mention, and it is the, um, the change to the loot interface or it's not really a change to it but basically um, I'll just bank all my stuff and, and pull out some random crap to, to drop on the floor um, they've made it actually that's just in case I end up losing it um, they've made it so you can now keybind your loot interface it's very very nice just gonna be so, like you don't have to if you're auto retaliating stuff you don't even have to move your mouse anymore um, right now I have it key bound to shift A. So if I press shift A, it opens up my loot interface and I can just pick up all that stuff that I just dropped. And why the hell did it open my rune metrics? Good question. I have no idea. Um, is it, does it do that on its own? That's going to be really annoying. Is that part of the hotkey? I haven't actually used it yet. So this is my first time using it. Oh my God. That's so annoying. Why would you, why would you open the fricking rune metrics? whenever you use the loot interface. That's so annoying. Well, I'm just going to put it over here. Like, I don't really want that open, um, but it opens it automatically. Hopefully they disable that at some point in the future. But uh, yeah, that is a really, really nice patch. People have been asking for that for a long time, so really glad to see it. All right, we have one little cut there as well. Just had to go ahead and get my lunch out of the stove but one thing i actually thought of while i was doing that that i wanted to check as well with this does that happen even if you use the loot interface like you normally do because that didn't happen before no it doesn't so they need to fix that because that's really annoying i don't have rune metrics on my interface anywhere and i wouldn't like to add it so i really hope that they remove that from happening automatically but if you want to set your own keybind go into your settings controls and scroll all the way down to the action bar section at the bottom and it's the last option right here so 
Shift A, I already had bound for my bladed dive, so I'm just gonna just bind it to Shift Q, give my bladed dive back, and yeah. That is that, that's a pretty cool little patch. I'm really surprised that they did not add that to the main update page, but they didn't. Um, but yeah, if you wanna add that to your binds, it's a very nice one to have. They've also made it so that Yaka uh, on its stun phase now uh, takes flanking perk into consideration. So you can flank um, and not activate the stun and kill the whole team. And I, I mean, I guess that's a good change, but I personally don't like it because now I'm sure people are going to fuck up their flank and then end up killing the whole team by accident more often than not. So, yeah, that's an option now if you want to try flanking at Yaka and get people pissed at you if you mess up. Then you can do that. Um, also, Hunter Urns will now work with Big Game Hunter, so if you want to use those there, that is now a possibility. And other than that, I don't think there was any other ones that I can remember being important. No, I'm pretty sure those were the only important patch notes, but some pretty nice ones in there, uh, especially that loot interface option is very, very nice, and thankfully they fixed the buff bar, although there are some other issues with it. There was also a pretty massive bug um, when the game first updated, apparently. I didn't experience it myself, but if you had a full inventory and were wearing dual-wield weapons and then had in your um, in your inventory a two-handed weapon and you tried to equip it, it would drop your dual wields to the floor. So that was obviously a pretty big bug. Not sure how that got put in, but they fixed it pretty quickly, I think. Um, hopefully nobody lost any items to that. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video, you guys. Sorry it was a bit jumpy with my couple of cuts. I, I've just I had to make my lunch um, in the, during the video, and it was a bit longer of a lunch that I usually don't have. Um, so sorry about that. And it is a bit shorter than usual. Like I said, I'm not feeling too well today, so just wanted to make the little video, get you guys the update. Although I did go on a bit of a rant about the client crashing. Um, I'm going to actually test it right now. I'm going to start unplugging stuff at random in the back of my PC actually make sure I don't unplug my headset and lose my microphone but yeah I don't I honestly don't know what triggers it it doesn't always happen when I unplug stuff it's just like random like sometimes it will sometimes it won't and I don't know it's happened more than once though it's happened with my headset and with my keyboard different USB ports and everything I don't know what the issue is but um, looks like that didn't crash it I unplugged my mouse and keyboard uh, and keyboard and plugged them back in I have no idea anyways though um, my new keyboard should solve the issue for me because it will stop the stupid disconnecting and I knew that was a problem anyways like if I my keyboard stopped responding for a second when I was at Telos or something I could have died so it was really best that I get a new keyboard anyways and hopefully this new one's nice and works well and doesn't have any issues because I know Corsair is a good brand so hopefully it works out but yeah thanks for watching the video you guys I hope you all did enjoy it uh, let me know your thoughts on these patches and stuff in the comments and I'll see you guys either later in the week if there's any news that comes out or I have a video idea that I want to make um, but if not we'll be here on the weekend for the normal hardcore thanks again for watching guys I'll see you in the next video peace out